Hey guys, today we want to go into the Word of God and answer the question, why should Christians fast? Stick around, we're going to get right into it. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Ted Shuttlesworth Jr. and I'm giving you truth for life. Thanks so much for watching again this week. And listen, if you enjoy my videos and you like this channel, I want you to subscribe. I have new videos coming out every single Tuesday. Not to mention we have a free app for you that's available on the App Store or the Google Play Store. Just search Miracle Word and you'll get access to all of our articles, videos, all of our radio station material that is free 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So today we want to answer the question, why should Christians fast? And three reasons that I want to give you as to why Christians should fast. Number one, the first reason that Christians should fast is because Jesus expects his followers to fast. In fact, when he was teaching in Matthew chapter six on the three subjects of prayer, fasting and giving, he made the statement when you fast multiple times. He said, when you pray, when you fast and when you give, not if you fast, but when it was an expectation of Jesus for his followers to continue in fasting and prayer throughout their life. Later in Matthew chapter nine, John's disciples came to Jesus and asked, why are we fasting? But your disciples don't fast. And Jesus said, you don't fast while the bridegroom is with you. But one day the bride groom will be taken away from you and then my disciples will fast. And so you can clearly see it was Jesus desire and expectation for his disciples to fast. Well, why? Because he clearly says in Matthew chapter six, that when you pray and when you fast in secret, that God in heaven will reward you openly. And so we can see the reason that Jesus expects us to fast and pray is so that we can have access to heaven's blessings on the earth. The second reason Christians should fast is to receive divine direction and guidance from the Holy Spirit. In the New Testament, in the book of Acts, there's a story about a man named Saul who later became the apostle Paul. And he had such a reputation for harassing and persecuting the Christian church that Christians didn't even want to be around him and they avoided him at all costs. But one day on the road to Damascus, Jesus Christ confronted him directly and said, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And the Bible says Paul was struck blind. And when he got to Damascus, he fasted and didn't eat or drink for three days until God sent Ananias to him to lay hands upon him and for him to receive his sight and to be baptized in the name of Jesus and to be filled with the Holy Ghost. And at that moment, Paul began his ministry to the Christian church and became one of the greatest apostles who ever lived. Through that time of fasting and prayer, he was able to receive direction as to what he should truly be doing with his life. And if you're struggling today with wondering what you should be doing, What's your direction? Fasting and prayer is God's key to unlock those answers. Finally, the third reason that Christians should fast and pray is to access supernatural power from God. You know, the Bible says that when Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River by John, that he was filled with the Holy Spirit. But while in the wilderness, Jesus fasted and prayed for 40 days. And then you'll see in Luke chapter four and verse 14, that Jesus came out of the wilderness full of the power of the Holy Spirit. He went in filled with the Spirit and came out filled with power. What was the only thing that changed in that 40-day period of time? Jesus fasted and he prayed. In fact, later in Mark chapter 9, that boy was brought to the disciples and they couldn't cast the Spirit out of that boy. Jesus instantly cast it out. And the disciples said, Lord, why couldn't we cast the Spirit out of this boy? He said, because of your unbelief. And this kind of Spirit does doesn't go out except by fasting and prayer. And so there is a level of spiritual power and authority that you can attain by spending time in fasting and prayer. And you can see the obstacles of your life removed by the power of God's spirit in your life. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching again today. I really appreciate it. I'd love to hear your questions or comments in the section below. And don't forget until next week, goodness and mercy are following you for the rest of your life. I'll see you next week. Oh, <laughs>